he asked, which is a good question, is the demiurge your ego? Yes. And where you hear it the most, it's a Greek word. It means like a, a false god or something like that. Or lesser God, one or the other. But you hear that the most in Gnosticism. And they talk about the Demiurge and pretty much the creator of this place and, and all things human and human thought belongs to him. Well, human thought is the ego. Uh, this place is an aspect of the ego. Creation is the ego. So when you used to hear brothers like Phil say things like, which, which he's repeating from a, a doctrine, I am that I am, or you, would, or you even heard that in the Bible. Who are you? I am that I am. That's another way of saying whatever you could possibly think of, I am. I don't have to express it. So when you say, I'm a bee, I'm a flower, I'm a gnat, rat, cat, and a dog, and all of these things in creation that you see, that's the one I am that I am trying to prove itself. So creation itself is an ego trip. This is an ego. You, that's the game here. You're coming into the ego to understand how to get back to the true nature of I am that I am. That is all internal. Or you heard this before, becoming the one. To become the one is to understand that you are all the gods, is which is what I said earlier. You are all the gods, the one. You understand what I'm saying? And I explained that of all the gods that are on the boat with you in the pyramid text of how they have different roles in your DNA because you are all these gods. These gods are aspects of your DNA. You understand? So now, to become the one, you have to be out of truly be out of creation, because creation, you are a bee, you are a cat, you are reptilian, you are all of these things. But what you have to real, but you're but you're having the experience where you think they are outside of you. That's why you're easily duped, as I pointed out with things like community. Because that really, when you wash it all away, you're saying, I depend on something outside of me to become fixed. The community to become fixed so I can become fixed. So as soon as black people figured out how to have an economy, I'll be okay. As soon as black people figure out how to have an education, I'll be okay. As soon as we create a school for black boys, I'll be okay. No, those black boys will be okay. And that's a great idea. Like I said, this is no debate or me shitting on it. Everybody does exactly what they do. But you have a mentality that when things happen outside of you in the community, just like when you were in church and you learned it in the first place, when Jesus comes back, oh, watch it, nigga. It's going to be some shit. Something outside of you or, oh, Oshun, thank you for allowing me to braid your hair. And wash your feet. I'm going to the beach because Oshun told me. Oh, Oshun is mad at me because I didn't put out 21 glasses of water. All of those things are demiurge thoughts. Those are things that keep you locked in humanity. And they're talking about this lesser God or a lesser aspect of your consciousness that created this place. But, but again, there's many debates and contradictions just like we have now they had then some look at it as a school some look at it as a prison what i'm finding out more through understanding it's actually not a prison but it can be a prison if you're ignorant you go through lifetime a lifetime of this misery and it just becomes about this misery not the goal in consciousness, which is overcoming the misery. You understand? You're here to overcome it and, and how you overcome it is in the heart. Therefore, I'm now understanding how it's supposed to 
manifest in society for me in terms of courtesy, being able to give and receive it to a nobody. Because it's not about them or humanity and how it's dying. It's about you and what your heart is transforming into. The kingdom of heaven is right here. Right here. And if you live by this instead of this, your gray matter brain and your thinking and your thought and your reasoning is the demiurge. This is the demiurge, nigga. What you think is deep, ho tepper. How you walking around. How you see all these niggas dropping as soon as I talk. Yeah, 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 fucking. He's the black sun and black Jesus. All from here. When it should be, this should be open. So this could start to open up. This is the kingdom of heaven. This is the demiurge. So the deeper meaning, I think, of what the Gnostics were talking about ultimately wasn't a person in the sky. They were talking about an aspect of your consciousness that has fallen. But it's supposed to because to, to find the kingdom is the goal. That was represented in the movie Coming to America. You were already in the kingdom, but you go to Queens because you want the problem. You brung with you semi, semi-consciousness. Let's just go home. I want a manicure. That's what you say all the time. Fuck that. I want to go home. Fuck that. How do you die and not come back? I want to see what it means. That's your semi-consciousness. Eddie Murphy knew I had to find the love first. You understand? I have to find the love first before I could, before we could go home, semi. Semi took the money and built a kingdom in that rat infested home. Come on, niggas. I just told you this is not your home and you can't build a kingdom there. So Eddie Murphy came in, took his money, said you can't get into trouble. And I want to move downstairs and let this landlord who's full of shit, he can have this fucking place. We must live poor. I told him my home is very poor. I am what? A goat herder. That's Jesus. He came to save her. He was the Christ. But even if the Christ comes here, which is you, every conscious person is the Christios or the Christ. That's you. So you come, you need to, you're here to find your heart or your Lisa or your love and take it back to the kingdom because it's a form of alchemy. He was already there. He was already bored. He had ass wipers. And if you think I'm bullshitting, John Landis did that movie. And John Landis is a fucking occultist, period. Him and Dan Aykroyd are boys. John Landis did a lot of Dan Aykroyd movies. And the other one who's dead, who was one of the Ghostbusters, not Dibs Dan, not Bill Murray, who's not too bad himself in the occult. But the other middle one, the tall guy, he was an occultist and he done mo he's done movie. John Landis was an occultist. John Landis got famous for, well, I don't know if he got famous, but in his fame, he did Thriller with Michael Jackson. An occultist, Egon. There you go. Y'all know it. Howard Ramis. Very good. Howard Ramis. 